My name is Dr Jo Twist and I am the Chief Executive Officer of UK Interactive Entertainment, which is Yuki for short. About five years ago, the government asked Nesta and our Vice Chairman, who is Ian Livingston, and the Head of Double Negative, uh, Alex Hope, to look at the skills gap in this country. It was recognised that with our high-tech industry and our games industry and special effects, we weren't necessarily getting the right skill sets through from school. I was very aware of there was simply not enough computer programmers, not just for our industry, but for all creative and digital industries. And we looked at every university in the country, and of our 144 games courses, most of them were media studies courses, soft skills, and we needed programmers, artists and animators. You know, our industries are growing at a rapid rate, and those jobs are in high demand. There are in fact 1,902 games studios in the UK today. A lot of them are micro studios. There's almost a second golden age of games happening right now as people are able to reach their markets directly. We need to make sure that the talent pipeline, the people uh, at school now uh, and at university and at further education colleges understand what skills they need uh, to get into the industry. We managed to convince the government that the ICT curriculum was irrelevant for the digital age and they acted on our advice and the new computing curriculum came into effect last September. But we also decided that we need something practical to help teachers and resources, particularly from the games industry, um, in classrooms that kids can actually enjoy and be inspired, particularly from uh, you know, getting girls into coding. So we, we coordinated a bid and won some uh, funding from the Mayor of London and Digital Schoolhouse was born. Digital Schoolhouse is a unique way for children to learn about computing through engaging workshops where they learn how to do things in a way that they've never actually quite seen before. So we've got the bongos, we've got the piano and we've got the five instruments but there are other things on there which you can try if you want to have a go at it. During the course of a day, the pupils can learn about a particular topic or a concept. It's designed to really upskill, inspire and engage pupils and teachers with the new computing curriculum. Workshops can also be described as enrichment days. From the point of view of the pupil, they're going on a school trip. When they're there, they learn computing with a unique blend of resources. We are doing Makey Makey and this time we'll try the piano with our different arrows. People, it's like a tiny robot. Um, in the shape of a bumblebee. And then I want him to move forward three times again. So one, two, three. It's really fun because it's not really like any other kind of lesson. When we are young children, we learn through play and exploration. That's how babies learn. That's how they learn about the world around them. We continue to do that as we get older. Learning by doing is far more engaging than learning a theory by rote. I certainly think the workshops have helped with uh, kids' enthusiasm and how engaged they are. And you could see them getting excited, saying, oh, I'm going to go home and I'm going to make this, or I'm going to go home and do this. When they get something right, they just feel so enthusiastic. There's just this the spark in their, in their eyes is light up, they go, I get this. It's, it's fun, you know, it's, it's creative, it's not just lines of text. We discovered that um, even our hands, if we press it here, it would still work. It is colours, it is uh, creation, it is innovation. You could like do it like forever. And in the future, they are saying that there's going to be more, more computers around. Now I've learned about it, I'm doing it all the time. Yeah, yeah. it's really fun because because it's you fun, but it's thing. learning at the same time, which makes it really good. Yeah. I honestly get quite emotional when I see some of the uh, workshops and primary school children, particularly girls, need to get rid of those stereotypes and need to see that this is a fun, fun subject, um, that they're actually learning all sorts of different skills. It's just useful in loads of different situations. It makes you more aware, so when you grow up you're more aware of things. It works your brain a lot because you have to think of where you want to go. Digital Schoolhouse is giving children skills for the future, whether you're working in fighting cybercrime, making a game, designing the next jet propulsion engine, these are essential skills. Each secondary school has nominated a lead digital schoolhouse teacher. They then deliver workshops to visiting primary school pupils. The teachers are assured that they know that during this day, their pupils have actually covered a part of the national curriculum. I would definitely highly recommend it. We don't all have the same in schools, and this is a great chance to experience some of that. And for yeah. ourselves, we can 
there's things here that we've, we're able to take back to school and disseminate back to staff. The primary teachers, I think understandably, appreciated the chance to come in and watch the programming being taught. We've done an awful lot of work looking at uh, working with Year 6 children and as a result they've had good opportunities to come into the school, get familiarised with our school, work with our teachers um, and so those relationships have been really boosted by some of the work. One of the things that we've been really keen to do as a school is to get uh, our girls much more enthusiastic about being involved with ICT and, and, and that whole world that can be a bit male dominated and, and, and this has been a really good vehicle for really championing that. The hardware that we get from the Digital Schoolhouse isn't just limited to use within the Digital Schoolhouse. We can use it with the girls in Year 9, 10, 11, 12, wherever, and they love using it. The Digital Schoolhouse does seem to have um, built enthusiasm for computing, and we're introducing the GCSE in computing this September, and have had immediately to um, put two classes on because the, the take-up was huge. If I look at our options process and the number of children who are now interested in taking computer science at GCSE, there's been a significant increase and there's no question that that's because of a, a greater understanding of the power of ICT and the enthusiasm is, is something that's tangibly different since our involvement. One of the things I think we can expect as a result of Digital Schoolhouse is turning children from being a job seeker into a job maker, building on their natural propensity to, to share and to collaborate, but giving them the right skills to enable their own creativity to come to the fore. There's no reason why they can't start their own business to become real digital entrepreneurs of the future. When I go to a digital schoolhouse workshop and I see the excitement on the pupils' faces and I, and I, I hear those whoops of delight and, and that joy, it's really wonderful. And it takes me back to actually why I became a teacher in the first place. It's a win-win for everybody involved in the project. If we can harness the power of play-based learning in the classroom, then we can really unlock the potential behind each child.